In this lesson, we will use desmos.com to explore the rows given by the polar equations, r equals n sine k theta, or r equals n cosine k theta. To begin, let's go to desmos.com and click graphing calculator. Let's click the wrench in the upper right hand corner and let's change the grid to polar and let's also change from radians to degrees. When tracing out polar curves, it's often much easier to do in degrees because it's much easier to recognize the angles. To close this menu, either click the wrench again or outside the menu. And now let's click in cell one and enter r equals n sine open parenthesis k theta. To enter theta, we can type in theta from the keyboard or from the Desmos keypad, click the ABC and we can find theta on the far right. Notice how we have the option to add sliders for n and k. Let's click all. By default, n is equal to one and k is equal to one and the intervals are from negative 10 to positive 10. Let's change the interval for n to go from negative eight, tab eight, tab. Let's have a step of 0 0.5, tab. And now let's change the interval for k from negative six to positive six by ones. Click on the negative 10, enter negative six, tab, six, tab, one, and click outside cell three. And now we have sliders for n and k. Notice when n is one and k is one, we have a circle where the diameter is along the positive y-axis and the interval for theta is from zero to 180 degrees. Let's change the interval for theta from zero to 360 degrees. And now let's change n to let's say five. And now let's change the value of k. And k is equal to two Notice how we have a rose with four petals and the length of each petal is five units, the value of n. When k is equal to three, we have a rose with three petals. When k is four, we have a rose with eight petals. When k is five, we have a rose with five petals. And when k is six, we have a rose with 12 petals. So notice when k is odd, we have k petals and when k is even, we have two times k petals, which is true when k is positive. Let's see what happens when k is negative. So when k is negative two, we have a rose with four petals. When k is negative three, we have a rose with three petals. So to generalize, we can say when k is even, we have two times the absolute value of k petals, and when k is odd, we have the absolute value of k petals. Notice how when k is negative three and when k is positive three, we do have three petals, but the graphs are different, meaning the orientation of the petals are different. So there's k equals positive three and there's k equals negative three. When k is negative four, we have eight petals. When k is negative five, we have five petals. And when k is negative six, we have 12 petals. In either case, n does give us the length of the petals. If n is negative, the absolute value of n gives us the length of the petals. So we can say in general, the absolute value of n does give us the length of the petals. Now let's change n back to let's say five and k back to two. And let's change our equation from r equals n sine k theta to r equals n cosine k theta. So notice how the orientation of the petals has changed, but when k is two, we still have four petals and the length is still five units or the absolute value of n units. So whether we use sine or cosine, what we're discovering is still true. It's just the orientation of the petals changes. The last thing we might wanna do is see how the curve is traced out over a specific interval for theta. So let's go back to a rose with four petals shown here on the right. And let's trace out this curve 
over the interval for theta from zero to 360 degrees. Let's click in cell one. Let's change the type of graph by clicking and holding on the red circle on the left. Let's select the dash style and the orange color. Click outside this menu. Now we will duplicate this equation by clicking the gear, then clicking the duplicate option in cell one. Now we're going to go down to cell two and we're going to restrict the domain or the interval for theta from zero to A and then create a slider for A. Before we do this though, we are going to change the style of this graph by clicking and holding on the orange circle on the left, select the solid graph and let's select purple. And now to create the slider we're going to use the curly brackets or squiggly brackets going to the Desmos keypad and then clicking ABC that would be these curly brackets here, or squiggly brackets at the bottom. And now we are going to enter zero, less than or equal to theta, less than or equal to A, and now we have an option for a slider for A. Click A to add the slider. And now we're going to change the interval for A from zero to 360 degrees click negative 10, enter zero, tab 360, tab five degrees for the step, click outside cell three, close the Desmos keypad, and now we can use a slider to trace out the curve from zero to 360 degrees. So looking at the graph, notice how from zero to 45 degrees, we have this half of this first pedal continuing we can see how the rose is traced out again over the interval from zero to 360 degrees which gives us the complete four petal rose. Let's summarize our findings. The polar equations R equals N sine K theta or R equals N cosine K theta is a rose. The distance from the end of a petal to the origin is the absolute value of N units. When k is odd, there are the absolute value of k petals. When k is even, there are two times the absolute value of k petals. I hope you found this helpful.